Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojoa here, back to do another NHL 19 Hockey Ultimate Team debut showcase video, where today we are going to be showcasing the baddest Broad Street Bully of them all, and arguably my favorite and the greatest Philadelphia Flyer of them all. I finally have got my hands on the December monthly legend, Bobby Clark. So yes, it's near the end of the month of December, but I have finally got my hands on the Bobby Clark card, and I am going to be giving him a test run here in Hut Champions at the end of the month of December here. So here's the card if you guys have not seen it yet, even though a bunch of you guys probably have already gotten the card here. Net from Presence, uh, B, E, and T, B are the other synergies. Doesn't look like the greatest like offensive minded card. If I am end up if I do end up using this card, I'm more than likely am going to have him probably transition on to defense because his defensive stats are honestly really, really good. Offensively, he doesn't look like the greatest. He doesn't look like the fastest card to use. His like speed stats are only in the low 90s and as endurance is actually pretty good at 89, so he'll keep up that like 90, low 90 speed, which is honestly not bad, but his defensive stats are really, really good. So uh, I guess for this game, I'm going to substitute him for that 90 overall Christmas competitive season saves on my third line because he is left-handed. So he's going to go on the third line uh, next to Jeremy Roenick and Jonathan Marcheseau. So, so I'm going to put him on that third line there. Uh, get him some playing time with those guys. So that's where he is going to play. Uh, probably sh pretty sure he's going to get penalty kill time as a result of that. He is. So he'll get some penalty kill time right there. And I'm pretty sure that's all he's going to get as a result of that. So this should be fun uh, to play with uh, my Broad Street Bullies and probably one of my favorite Philadelphia Flyers players of all time as well. So it should be interesting to see how well he plays on offense. But more than likely, if I do end up using him on defense, Probably he'll go in place of Al Iafrady just because I still need Morgan Riley for the synergies at this point in time. But I still would like to use uh, Bobby Clark in some fashion on the team because I can't say no to using a 93 overall Hut card. But let's go into Hut Champions, shall we? And let's give this card a run for our money. I know he's got some sick flow with no bucket in the game like uh, yours truly. I don't know why everybody keeps saying I need a haircut. I think my hair looks fine. That was a joke, by the way, guys. I know I need a haircut. Calm down in the comments section. I know. Calm down. All right, boys, we got our game. Never mind. No, we don't. Never mind. No, we don't. All right, let's try this again. We got ourselves our second game here. Obviously, uh, Bobby Clark is on the third line, so I will hopefully see you guys when Bobby Clark hits the ice. Obviously, he's on this guy's first line. But uh, hopefully I'll see you guys out there when he, he hits the ice on my team for the third line. Well, hopefully he doesn't do that on, uh, on my team. Gardner just rips a clapper. His goaltender couldn't handle it. And Bobby Clark scores on his own tendy. Great camera angle on the uh, second replay there, but Bobby Clark scores on it, his own net. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some help down low. Forsberg. Right. Wow, what a shot there by Sackick. That hit the bar and bounced right back out. That thing hit the bar so quickly and bounced back out so quickly as well. Andy Moog was not looking... Uh, was not looking to save that shot at all. Uh, you know what? Second line's looking a little bit tired, so let's get the third line out there. Let's get Bobby Clark out there on the ice. Why not? There he is up on that third pair. You know what? I'm going to push the face off, see if he'll come in really quickly, see if we can get a quick wrister on that. Oh, there it is. Quick wrister. Oh, we got, got the block there by Keith. All right, JR. Look for Clark. Wrister. Nah. Nice. All right, here we go. Clark and March so in a two-on-one. Clark, just rip it. There you go, Bobby Clark. Does he have a celly? No, he doesn't have a celly, but there we go. A short side wrister. Bobby Clark with his first shot gets a goal. We'll take that on Andy Moog. I know all of Andy Moog's weaknesses, even though that's kind of a cheese goal in and of itself. Bobby Clark, the Bard Street Bullies, gets us on the board. What a nice ripper. Love that screen cap as well. Bobby Clark, look at that. Snip. I'm going to have to use him on my team somewhere, man. He's going to have to go on defense. Okay, well, he just rips one by me as well, Phil Forsberg. Okay, 
Stay with that cane. He was too busy chasing, man. He's too much chasing. He chases one guy way, way, way too much in the defensive zone. That was just an easy open one-timer right there for Timmy Horton. And we'll take the two-goal lead right back, 3-1. to one. Don't know why he stood behind the net like that so much. March is, oh, Clarky, oh, almost a one-time there, right there for Bobby Clark. He does have a hammer of a shot, though. I'll give him that. How are his dangles, though? I uh, wasn't able to get that. I hit a little bit of a lag spike right there. Uh, dying seconds of the first will kill that off. And that'll be it for the first period. All right, so we get that goal there late in the first. Up three to one, seven to two are the shots. Time of attack in my favor. Face offs in my favor are looking good. <sighs> I probably should have just tucked it. I had room there at Marner. Eh, just short side of Madonna. I'll take that. Easy. Moog sucks on the on the short side wristers like really, really, really badly. I've used him for so long, I know how badly he sucks on the short side wristers. Alright, Slawchuck. Slawchuck's been playing much, much better for me as of recently. He had that one rough game as you guys saw in that highlight video, uh, you know, that I posted, but ever since that game he's been very 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 solid and Jesus dude Moog sucks he's just so bad at them he's so bad at saving them like I had no choice but to use him because like I really didn't feel like using any other goaltender with burner because I felt like I had no really good luck with using the other tendies I'm gonna go diving out poke checking there we go a boy but, like, I had no really other choice to use any Moog. Brady, let's go. Sauce that through. Oh, Jesus. If JR would have hit that out of midair, that would have been nasty. All right, Bobby Click. Let's go. Oh, doing the Zeddy. Did complete it. Got three guys in the corner. Or just so back to the point. All right, Frady, low shot. Look for a tip. Did tip it, and time runs out. Alright, that'll be it for the second period, a 5-1 to one lead now, 17 shots to 5, we are definitely putting the pressure on this guy, looks like we are gonna cruise our way to a nice victory in this game, Bobby Clark, looking pretty good so far in this one, definitely has the goals so far, let's see if we can get him a little bit more in the rest of this game. It's clear. Cool. Nice job, feed right over to Mitch Marner. That'll take it an extra shorty, why not? Six to one. All right, here we go, Bobby Clark. Backskate it on Resto. Ooh, a nice little self pass to the self. Maybe thought I could have got five hole there on Moog, but alas, it's not able to. <laughs> what, a, what a hit there by Iron Frady. Out there by Kane. Kane is just gone because he is so fast. And <laughs> oh god, Kane's speed got the better of him right there. And there we go. That'll be a wrap. Six to one victory in Bobby Clark's debut video. I believe he only got the one goal. Terry Sawchuk with another fabulous start for him and like I said he's been playing very very well ever since that like debut video I've had not I really have not had any issues with him at all ever since he took the net in that uh ever since that debut video so I'll give you guys a little box score on that game let's see Bobby Clark yep he only had that one goal one point plus one had three shots on that so 33 uh, percent shooting percentage did have one hit in the game uh, for him, and like I said, Terry Sawchuck, eight saves on nine shots against, uh, one goal against, so good game from him, and uh, we walk away with a 6-1 to one victory, and there's the uh, stat totals, as you guys can see, 22-9, to nine, 14 hits apiece, time on attack, very much in our favor, face-offs in our favor, one for one on the power play, killed off both penalties, had a shorthanded goal, 6-1 to one win in hut chip, so, yeah, by, by the Clark was pretty good, Shot was alright. Speed was, you know, speed was okay. He could dangle a little bit, but like I said, 
I think he's much better suited as a defenseman in this game than I think he is as a forward. Very good defensive minded forward for sure. I think he'd be well suited if you guys don't have like a really, really good like high stack team like I do. Um, he would definitely be well suited on any of your lineups, especially in like your top six. Um, but for me, I think he's more suited on my defensive core because I think I like to have much speedier players in my bottom six and, you know, some really high end top guys on my top six. So I think he'll probably make his way onto my defensive side of things, maybe replacing Al Iafrady, even though I like uh, Iafrady's shot. Uh, most of the time, I'm pretty sure he'll probably make it onto defense just because I really like his defensive stats. So that's my opinion of uh, Bobby Clark, the Broad Street Bully. He can definitely uh, outbody some opponents. 5'10", not the biggest guy out there on the ice, but uh, he's one of my favorite uh, flyers of all time. And uh, he is the greatest Philadelphia, flyers of all, Philadelphia flyer of all time, so for sure. I'm going to have to keep them around for at least a little bit. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, let me, guys, let me know your guys' opinions of Bobby Clark as well in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.